everybody. I'm here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, back home, playing in the, the, the Memorial Championships. It's the biggest tournament in Arizona, and it starts off the year. It usually starts off the year. I just played a tournament last weekend in Las Vegas, but this one has always started off the year for me. And it's always nice to be home. Uh, I got a lot of hometown love here, which is awesome. And luckily enough, after the first round, I was able to make the lead card. I'm sitting in third place. So I feel pretty good, a little, little stiff today, but getting my reps in and uh, you never know how you're gonna play. I feel like I'm gonna do pretty good though. famous course fountain hills it wraps around one of the biggest fountains in the world and it's a lot of a lot of water a lot of undulating hills and big hyzer shots so that's what i'm working on right now is making sure that i'm in control of my hyzer lines i don't want anything that's going to tilt over i want to play away from the water almost with every shot if i can do that Keep my disc safe. Give myself some opportunities to make a couple 30, 40 footers. Then we're looking good. Woo! Easier said than done out here though. I mean, Fountain Hills has shattered drains plenty of times, including mine. Going into round two, making the lead card has always been a big goal of mine uh, at any tournament. So to do it at the Memorial Championships, obviously where I'm from, was a, a already a success for the whole trip. So I started off that round, um, dunked one right in the drink, uh, first shot, and that kind of calmed my nerves. I threw a good shot from the drop zone hard that and then I ended up birdie in I believe the next six holes in a row which really kind of got me jump started um I knew I was off that day I wasn't I didn't have my best stuff uh but luckily it was calm my putter was working I ended up salvaging a decent round for how I felt I knew going into that round that I didn't have my best stuff uh, played safe, um, let my putter kind of carry me through that round. I ended up shooting at eight under, which was good enough to stay tied for third place. <laughs> so we're here at the Airbnb. This is the Discraft House. So lucky enough to be on the team. Each year we have the same house here at the Memorial. We have like three RVs out in the parking lot. I think this is like a five bedroom. Sleeps a bunch of people and we all just kind of chill here after the rounds and stuff. It's super low key, easy going. Uh, very comfortable, so you can even shoot some pool. So it's awesome because a lot of times you get kind of caught up in like a hotel or just feel like kind of grinding out, but here, you know, you kind of get to be around your teammates and just relax. It's awesome. A typical day on tour would be this is not a typical day a typical day for me would be kind of wake up breakfast coffee 
normally don't tee off at three. This is bizarre because at the big tournaments, we tee off, uh, that the women actually tee off last, so then we'd have earlier tee times, which is normal. Weakest break I've ever had, so that's embarrassing. Which is normally around, if you played good, 12. If you didn't, a little bit earlier. Uh, so now we have to kind of like linger around here this week because we don't see off till three o'clock. Which is fine, but give you time to like relax, do some laundry, chill, hang out. You can do a little putting. I don't like to warm up that much though before my round because then I kind of get out of my groove that I'm norm that like I'm used to, which would be like uh, hour warm up. I like to like putt for a half hour, try for a half hour, and then be ready to tee. So that's a little bit different. Yeah, the Norma Tech compressive sleeves have like changed my life. So what happens is push pressure on your legs, blood flow leaves, it releases, blood flow rushes back, and then it helps with recovery time. So it like it actually triples. works though. Yeah. You don't get sore? No, never. I, since I've had them, I haven't been sore. Did you get it specifically for your knee or just for yeah. for other stuff? For example, like I had a pretty huge bruise on my knee from a, some silly accident, but it like swole up and it was like, it hurt super bad for a week. I bought those and it wasn't healing even with ice or whatever. I bought those a week later, it was completely done. It's gonna be so windy, that's gonna suck. I feel like I'm feeling pretty dangerous today. What's your typical pre-tournament routine? Drugs. <laughs> no, I wake up I've been waking up pretty early, but I'll get coffee. I don't eat before I play, which is weird. I feel like it weighs me down. And so, it's pretty funny, because I'm, I'm like pretty well known for being the worst practice player ever. Like, people play with me and they're like, I have no idea how you're good. And then when I play in a tournament, like I play like 20 times better than I would in practice. I don't know. Or it's because I eat a lot. <laughs> and when I practice, I eat right before I play and then I don't during the tournament. Um, routine is pretty pretty basic. Like I'll stretch for about 15, 20 minutes and I'll warm up for 30 minutes uh, driving, figuring out what's going on, what, what my power's like, and then I'll putt for 30 minutes, figure out what stroke I have for the day, and then yeah, I'm ready to go. Like I said, normally I don't wait till 3 o'clock. This is weird. So heading from the Airbnb to warm up, uh, I tee off in about uh, a little over an hour, and I gotta get a good, uh, good warm up in. See what the wind's doing over at the course, and uh, maybe a little meditation or something. Zen out. I want to be more energetic, and I have like I quit gluten, and I've been off gluten for three months. Since I've done that, like, after I eat, I don't feel like dumb. Like, and not like uh, dumb, like, fog. like, just like slower and like tired. It would like always make me like, oh, I just ate. Time, you know, time to relax. Now I eat and then I'm like, I'm more energized after I eat. Instead of just being like, oh, why do, why do I eat and I feel tired type thing, you know? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for more energy so I can get more done and make more money. <laughs> <laughs> third round tied for third place 
really good position and obviously as the tournament goes on you can kind of get a good feel of where people are sitting who's playing well uh you know what the scores are gonna possibly be for you know to win the tournament so a little more pressure is added in that moment and all that stuff so i go into the third round have a really good card again and start off extremely slow i think i was one over after the first three even after the first four finally got to under par and then i was able to rattle off another nice birdie streak of like three in a row par basically a par four they call it a par three but it's basically a par four and then i birdied six out of the next seven so salvaged my round there um Ended up throwing out of bounds on the last hole, which kept me from being on the lead card for the final round, which was a bummer, but I was only four back going into the final day. Dude, do I look like a spacey? <laughs> sure. <laughs> we good with that. Scott Withers is no good at big tournament. Playing with everything else. Just wait. Till no, actually, sorry. Wait till sorry, Scott. Week. <laughs> Yuli, I guarantee you he takes top ten next week. I'll put a hundred dollar bet on that. In Waco? Yeah. He's in Waco? Yeah. Why was I talking? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna take a top ten finish. I'll bet you a hundred dollars right now. Let's go. No, no. You want that? I know that Scott's nasty. Good. He just doesn't, he goes and plays in the woods all winter and then goes to Vegas and he's like, oh, I have to throw 600 feet a thousand times. Yeah, but he rips, that's the thing. He does rip, but he doesn't rip like, he throws long yeah, he like does. golf shots. No, he, he doesn't throw like long Eagle McMahon shots. Bro, he rips. I know he does. I play with him like all the time. Do you? Yeah. I literally lose right, money. I lose I, money to him in a cash round every weekend. I gotta do business. I was only four back going into the final day on the second card with a really cool group and i had uh you know less pressure than the lead card the big crowd's gonna be call, uh, following the lead card not me so start off that round my field practice went really well uh i was skeptical but then i figured something out right at the end of my session um gave me a lot of confidence going into the round and i started off i buried the first seven and after you get the first seven on the final day, you know, no matter, pretty much no matter what's going on when you're within four, you've gained two at least on everybody uh, in the field, if not more. So I knew I was, I, I'd put myself in position to then battle the rest of the round for the title which I was able to do. I made a couple mistakes here and there. I only missed one putt and coming down the stretch, I made a couple really clutch clutch putts that uh, kept me pretty much tied to one back to one up on the lead um, the whole time until I got to hole 16. Just trying to plug along. Keeping it together? Yeah. It's weird because I know the lead card has a few extra holes to play, but I know I'm pretty close. The nerves are starting to get going, you know, but it's nice. Just made a nice one, you know. What do you got on this round? Oh, I don't know. Like, I think that put me to eight. But I got, I basically, if I want a chance, I got a booty up. So, a lot of pressure going down right now, for sure. But, I don't know what I was born to do. I stepped up to a, a really difficult shot for me. Um, crosswind, tailwind, side hill. I tried to get a little too cute and almost hit a cop car. So that was good. <laughs> Threw it out of bounds, bogeyed that hole, birdied the next, parred the last hole, and then had just had to wait for the leaders to come through. And um, I, I believe Macbeth birdied six of his last seven to actually get me by three shots. So I ended up taking second place.
Uh, I felt great, honestly. I mean, I, I put together, uh, I gave myself a chance. You know, if I go birdie, birdie, birdie on the last three holes, I'd tie for first place. So I, I, gave, I put myself in position to win a really big tournament, which is all you ever try to do. I mean, if you compete, you know, there's plenty of times where you're never in contention or some weeks you're always in contention. And so it was good to just put myself in that spot, see what it feels like learn from it going forward and uh yeah i can definitely be happy with that finish um in the last five years i haven't placed higher than 10th place at the memorial which is a big bummer because like i said it's from where i'm from and so to finish second be able to perform in front of my home crowd my family friends was uh it was good to do that at a high level I like me driving my mask.